Boomers are disconnected from reality. Spent time with my family over the holidays. Got to see everyone and it was great. Boomer grandpa couldn't stop complaining about burger flippers making $15 per hour, but when I explained that, well yeah they need to pay for housing and food, he replied, that's a job for kids not adults. Why don't boomers realize that people who work these demeaning low-paying jobs are the backbone of our workforce and are the only reason anything actually works from day to day? I'm sick of it. If grandpa wants Burger Place to exist, Burger Place needs workers. They are supplying value to society and deserve to be able to survive in it. In grandpa's day, you could literally work any job and buy a fucking house and probably have a pension. Boomer Grandpa here. Your grandfather grew up in the golden age of America like I did. I worked a part-time supermarket job and paid all my college expenses myself. By the way my entire freshman year tuition and fees was $936. The same school is now about $14,000. I feel bad for young people since you have it financially very rough. Your grandfather as well as many boomers are ignorant of the changes in society. They like being stupid just saying. That's a job for kids not adults. I think boomers have this idealized utopia in their heads that these jobs are entry-level for kids to make some pocket money on their way to a real career. Not that it justifies the poor pay or anything. That's a separate point. Every retail, service place I go to, more than half the staff are middle-aged and up. They seem to ignore that these kinds of jobs are people's careers. In my day, it's not your fucking goddamn day anymore. Kids deserve housing and food, too. Guys. There's always an easy way to end this conversation. Step 1. Tell them, I totally agree with you that they should get paid the same as when you wear. Growing up. Step 2. Ask them how much that was. And adjust for inflation, productivity in front of them. Step 3. When you arrive at the $20 to $25 plus per hour figure, tell them and reiterate that you agree with them that that's what they should be paid. Step 4. Enjoy the brain melting, cognitive short circuitry. Edit. Fix the number of steps. I skipped step 3. Man face palming medium skin tone. I was going to make a post about something similar. My grandparents seem to think they had the same struggle getting onto the property ladder an hour. Youth just don't want to work. Lol. If only children were meant to work at these places. Why are they open when schools are open? If that's truly the case. I want to see these businesses close until school lets out. It's a kid's job, but what kid is working from 7 to 3 on a weekday when they're supposed to be in school? And I agree. Looking down on people who have jobs is a very strange thing cause then people will complain that everyone is lazy and doesn't want to work. It shows how service workers are basically invisible to some people. If you have been to a fast food restaurant and actually looked at the workers it's obviously not a job for kids. Fox News My 39-year-old bar manager brother thinks that way. 2. His restaurant per bar can't find help and he just stares at me agape when I tell him that no one wants to work at a place where even in my state 8.33 is minimum wage for tipped employees. If that's a job for kids, then should every McDonald's be closed during school hours? I'm convinced boomers want to hate on burger flippers, not because they think low-skilled jobs shouldn't be paid a living wage but to have a social class beneath them to feel superior to. 
and nothing is worse to a privileged person than someone who they think is beneath them trying to come up to their level. My mill apparently said to her granddaughter, who was working as a barista, when are you moving out and getting your own place? When my mill was my niece's age, rent was roughly what, $200 per month? Tell grandpa to unretire and take the job for low pay if he wants to keep wages down. Why does it matter to anyone that someone else gets better pay? There are thousands of professionals negotiating for higher wages every day who effectively do nothing but push papers around corporate offices and through government bureaucracies. But nobody sits around shaming them for negotiating for better pay. It's only when the bottom of the totem pole organizes for better pay that people feel entitled to an opinion. My boss is a boomer. He's always railing against millennials because they're never satisfied with what they have and always want more unlike my generation. He's got a pension with full medical benefits and could retire at 55. I just have a 401k and no medical until Medicare, forcing me to work into my 60s. He got paid overtime when he was at my level. I never have. Millennials are asking for less than boomers had and being chastised for it. They were literally gifted a world with doors open for them everywhere. They closed them all on their way through. And act like it's our fault those doors are closed. I'm a boomer grandpa and I have to say your grandfather is out of touch with reality. I get a pension and SS and still work in order to keep up with rising costs. The sad part is the job I have pays the same amount as I was making in 1989. Adjusted for inflation I should be making $44.83 an hour for the same standard of living. Wages are so far behind the actual cost of living it is ridiculous. Keep educating grandpa and he might come around. Kids that will be in school from 8 a.m. until 4 p.m.? So, who's making Pop Pop's cheeseburger and senior coffee? Boomers often talk about how smartphones and social media are affecting young people when TV has been turning them stupid for decades. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.